Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be planning for the week of September 24th through September 30th. So this is the last week of September and then next week is when October begins. So that's exciting. I always feel like October is officially the beginning of fall, even though I know technically it's um, in September, but it just doesn't feel like it until we actually hit the month of October. So anyways, for this week, I have a really pretty kit from Raspberry Designs, and I have been craving some of these darker and deeper blues in my planner lately. Um, I think I've been using a lot of pastel kits, and so I just really wanted something vibrant and um, bold. And so this kit was really perfect, and also the quote here says, the best time for new beginnings is now. And I just thought that was really perfect for moving forward into the last and best part of the year. It's like the beginning of the holiday season so I just feel really really excited about that. I do want to mention that today I will be memory planning which I've been doing recently so if you're not familiar with that concept this week is basically already over and done and I'm just going back into pretty much journal the things that have happened every day. Now back to the kit um, the first sheet has these full boxes and some cancel stickers at the bottom. Here we have the bottom washi, the date covers, some date dots, a weekend banner, and two bill do stickers. We've got all the functional items here like heart checklists, um, icons, sidebar trackers, movie marquee. We have the half boxes, quarter boxes, appointment labels, etc. We've got the ombre heart checklist and four quarter boxes at the bottom. And then we have our headers and our little things. So we have lots of stickers to work with this week. Um, I probably won't need to pull in very much from my collection since I have uh, plenty of half boxes and quarter boxes to work with. So anyways, I feel like that was quite long of an introduction, so let's just go ahead and begin by placing down my bottom washi. As always, I start by putting down my bottom washi first because I feel like it just sets up the theme of this spread nicely and then it's easy to work off of that. So then I move on to my sidebar and place the quote box in the top corner. The next thing I do is put down all of the date covers and the date dots that came in the kit. Moving back to my sidebar, I did use a habit tracker to track working out and then, um, oh, I see that I pulled in a glitter header. So all of my glitter headers this week will be from Mandy Dreams because I love her color scheme that she offers and then I used a quarter box to mark my happy moments and then the Monday through Sunday tracker from the kit. The kit actually came with two Monday through Sunday boxes so I was able to use another one for my dinners and I guess for this week I decided to track my dinners in the center section and then my happy moments in the bottom section. The what's for dinner script sticker is from plans with the Ness, and then the utensil sticker is from lemon paper co. On Monday, I started by putting down a glitter header. I used a quarter box from the kit, or actually it's like an appointment label from the kit. And then that coffee sticker is from Peanut Butter Taco. I got those as a gift from a planner friend, which was really sweet. And then I put down a Coffee Monsters Co. emoji because I wasn't feeling really well that day, and I just wanted to mark that. And then after work that day, I did go to Target to pick up a few things, and I wanted to note that. So I put down a um, Today header with a full box that has some empty space on in the middle. Um, the Target Run sticker is from Love Shira and then I just made a small checklist of the things that I picked up at Target mostly because I don't have a whole lot of stuff to mark on Monday so I kind of use the checklist as a way to take up some space. When I got home, I did a workout, so I used a quarter box, or I'm sorry, a half box, and that working out sticker is from Willow Wallow Co. I think that character's name is Gertie, which I think is just adorable. Then I moved to the bottom, and I used a quarter box with a TV icon from Brandy's shop to mark the TV show that we were watching that week. Um, in the remaining space in the middle, I put down a taco sticker from a happy blue tree and I used my, I think that's my Tombow brush lettering pen. I can't quite see it from this angle, but I use that to mark that it was taco night. Um, so we had some tacos, which was really good. Then moving on to Tuesday, I started by putting down a header and I noticed that with light color headers, it's really hard to read the text if it's written in white. So I put down that important script sticker over it and that's from K Stickers Co. 
On the full box that I put down, I used a quarter box to mark a staff meeting that we had. The pencil sticker is from Nikki Plus Three, and then I put down an IEP sticker from Lily Grove Designs to mark a meeting that we had that afternoon. Underneath that, I put down a glitter header with a um, an appointment label, and the shoe sticker I just put down is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. I used that to mark working out, and then we watched TV again that night, so I used a TV monitor sticker from, I think that's from Mandy Dreams, and I got that as a sampler. Underneath that, I used a little things header, and then I put down a half box and wrote that I edited and uploaded, or I'm sorry, responded to comments on YouTube. That working girl sticker is from Jesse James Design Co. And then at the end of the night, I just had some me time. Um, so I put down a pillow sticker, which unfortunately I don't know where that's from. Um, I found that in my little leftovers collection and um, that me time sticker also was part of my leftovers. So I'm not sure which shop it came from. On Wednesday, I put down this full box at the bottom. Originally, I had cut it up because I wanted to, I think, use part of it as like a little header, but I didn't end up doing that, so I pieced it back together on Wednesday. Then moving to the top of the day, I first put down a today header with a half box to mark that I uploaded my plan with me that morning. The laptop sticker is from Sticker Blush. Then I used that moving boxes sticker, and I think that's from Hello Cupcake Plans, um, because I did have to move my office space that day. Our front office had to get renovated, and so um, I was using, I had to move all my stuff into um, a temporary office in the meantime. Then I used a quarter box with a Target trip sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that I had to stop by Target again real quick after work that night. I think I had something I forgot to pick up on Monday, so I had to go back again. And then um, I used one of those um, dotted, quarter boxes with a shoe sticker from Simply Laura Paper Shop to mark that I did some cardio that afternoon. I then decided to move the quarter box because I wanted to use that to mark doing dishes instead. The dishes sticker I think is from Kiki Made Designs. And then to mark going to Target, I ended up putting a grocery cart sticker from the kit next to the Target sticker. At the end of Wednesday, I pretty much just relaxed and chilled out for the rest of the night. And to mark that, I used a relaxing girl sticker from Little Star Plans with a um, little arrow sticker that I found um, in my sampler collection, and that is from Mandy Dreams. On Thursday, I started by using a Today header, and then I put down a quarter box with that defeated looking girl from Art Box stickers because I was feeling really, really tired on Thursday for some reason. And then I had a couple IEPs that afternoon. So the first one I marked using a half box and of course using my IEP flags from Lily Grove Designs. And then the second one I just placed right underneath that. And then I used a glitter header and put down the full box with the rain boots and the flowers, which I I love I think that one is so so pretty and that night we did date night so I used an appointment label with a gold foil heart sticker from white deer stationery at the end of the night I put down a frustrated munchkin from once more with love and I don't want to get into politics because that's not what this channel is about at all but I did watch the Kavanaugh trial that night and that definitely left me feeling really frustrated and quite upset on Friday, I started by putting down a glitter header at the top with a full box underneath. Um, originally, I put down a pink bow coffee cup sticker. I think that's from Sweet Ava's Paper, but then I switched it out for a coffee from Toffee Bananas instead because I think it stands out a little bit better against the background. I had a couple meetings that afternoon, so I used a half box to mark that. The meeting script sticker is from Nightingale Paper Co., and then the pencil sticker is from Mochi Kichi, which is a new shop for me, and they had just sent me a bunch of goodies, so I was really excited to pull them into my spread. I checked my P.O. box before I went home, so I used a Happy Mail Munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that, and then I used a shoe sticker from Planner Frenzy to mark my workout. At the end of the night, I think I just did a YouTube binge and just had some me time, so the YouTube binge sticker is from Love Shira. I then decided to use a quarter box to label my workout, and so I put that in there, and then I had a little extra space left over, so I put down a little things header and um, moved the YouTube binge sticker to a square edged um, or a square cornered half box instead, and I think that turned out really nice. 
Then moving on to Saturday and Sunday, I started by putting down the weekend banner at the top. And then for Saturday, I used a today header with a quarter box um, to mark that I filmed in the morning as I usually like to do on Saturdays. Um, the camera sticker is from Sticker Blush and that film script sticker, I think is from Sunset Sticker Co. I think I just got those and I can't quite remember, but I hope I'm right. Then I used a glitter header with a full box and we got some ramen for lunch that day and it was super good. So that ramen sticker is from Happy Daya Stickers. I did a little shopping at Marshall's afterwards, so I put down a Shopping Girl sticker from Paper Princess Plans, and I love that the colors of the girl's outfit match the kit so perfectly. And then when I got home, I did take a nap, so I used a half box to mark that. The pillow sticker was part of my leftovers collection, so unfortunately, I don't know where that's from. At the end of the night, I wanted to mark that we watched Netflix and just had some beer, just chilled out, so the beer sticker is from Dizzy Daisy Dreams. In the remaining space, I used a dumbbell sticker also from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark that I did my workout on Saturday. And then on Sunday, I started by using a lazy morning sticker from Mochi Kichi. Um, actually, I think that sticker only says morning. I wrote in lazy with my brush lettering pen. And then I put down a full box at the bottom of the day because I knew that's where I wanted it. Originally, I put down a half box and then I do later switch it out for something else. Um, I also switched out the color of the glitter header from pink to that light blue color. And here's where I lift up the half box. I used a three heart checklist instead with a to-do header because I had a few things that I wanted to mark. Um, and then in the space above that, I put down the me time sticker from the kit to mark that I did a YouTube binge that morning. And then I also used a quarter box with a grocery icon from Planner Frenzy to mark that I did some groceries. I filled out my three heart checklist and used a little gas sticker from the kit to mark that I got gas. I also placed down a computer sticker. I I think that's also from the kit since the color matches so well and then on top of the full box I used a half box um, the beer sticker is from Sunset Sticker Co those are new in my collection and I was really excited to pull them in um, Sunday night I actually met up with one of my friends for happy hour which is really rare for me I don't usually go out on Sunday nights because I'm usually busy preparing for the upcoming week but it was actually a really fun little excursion and it was really good to see her I also used a gold foil heart sticker from Clever Gal Crafts so that pretty much concludes my entire spread. I've moved back to my sidebar, and as usual, I kind of save that as the last thing I fill out. So I tracked my workouts, um, tracked, put in my dinners and my happy moments, and then I zoom out, and now I'm just showing you guys the stickers that I have left in this kit. I definitely have a ton left over, which is to be expected because this is such a full kit, and with my white space planning, I just don't use that many stickers. But anyways, this is how my spread turned out, and I actually love this so much. I I had such an easy time with this spread. I think it just flowed really, really well. I remember being really happy when I was doing this. And so um, I really like how it turned out. And um, yeah, I know I've been uploading a little bit less lately because work has gotten really, really busy and I just have like no energy when I come home to work on my videos, but I'm hoping that I can get caught up on the weekends if I'm not busy. So thank you for bearing with me, everyone. I really, really appreciate the support as always, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.